Mike Cernovich, Danger and Play dot com, Gorilla Minds. I gotta be, gotta be a little quiet here. I'll show you, show you why. This is what it's all about, bros. London Mayor, London Mayor has said that terrorism is a way of life now. Just, just a way of life. If your children are murdered, attacked, killed, Rotherham, it's just a way of life, man. It's just you gotta just accept it. Children in Rotherham raped. A 14-year-old girl raped in um, Rockville, Maryland. It's just it's a way of life. And if you do not, if you're not willing to accept this new way of life of terrorism, and murder, and rape, then you are Islamophobe. You're a bigot. You're just a bad person. I've been telling you for a while. They are they are a death cult. People often accuse me of being hyperbolic and overstating things. The only thing I overstate is my hair. The only thing I ever overstate is my hair. But otherwise, I'm I'm telling you the truth. It is we now live in a in a death cult world where they want to murder you. They want to murder you. And they're out for blood. And there's really no way around it. Here's what I've noticed traveling the world. I've traveled all over the world. Did you know that if you go to the Philippines and you go to a hotel, they check your bombs, your car for bombs. They put the mirrors under it. They open the trunk. They look for bombs. And I said, why, why are they? Because I remember I was at a fight for the UFC. I had a media pass. And I watched the UFC ringside in Manila as a member of the media, the press. And they, when I went to this hotel, they inspected our cars for bombs. And I said, well, why would they do this? This is the Philippines, right? They go, oh, no, there's a large Muslim population in the Philippines. See, I had no idea. This is why you should travel, talk to people who have traveled. The fake news media won't tell you the truth. But they are... They'll tell you there's a large Muslim population in the Philippines. I've been to Jordan. Anywhere you go where there's a large Muslim population, there is terrorism. It's not debatable now. You can't argue with it. You can't debate it. You can't say, well, we don't know what the cause is. Anywhere you go, anywhere you go, where there's a large Muslim population, there's terrorism. It's just the way it is, the reality. And to deny that is to deny... It's to deny science, it's to deny facts, it's to deny reality, which is what we can't do. You know, I saw a good point. You know, I saw a good point, which is, I didn't realize this. I have my, you know, Richard Spencer is doing his thing in his little sandbox, and I do my thing, right? But I didn't know that he had been banned from London, right? You learn something new every day. So it's kind of a good point. Why is Richard Spencer banned from London, England, but Islamic terrorist hate preachers are allowed, right? It's just Mike Savage also was banned from from England, and then England, the, the mayor of London actually wanted to ban Donald Trump. So you think about it, and like, well, wait a minute, they have all this terrorism in London, they have rape gangs in London. Why are we banning people for speech when there's actually terrorism going on there, right? It's really bizarre. Uh, Tommy Robinson, I think Tommy Robinson got arrested, didn't he? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I, Tommy Robinson was either arrested or something happened for hate speech. I, I can't keep track anymore. There's some, but Tommy Robinson, what has that guy ever done done wrong, right? Ed, edgy tweets, you know, maybe a little little uh, controversial. Probably no more controversial than me though. And they, so why is it then that? Why is it then that, um, you know, Tommy Robinson is banned from, well, he can't be banned. I think he's a resident. I don't, you know, I, I, I'm not, I'm not, I don't know the full story, but Tommy Robinson, I, I know, has been arrested for a speech. And he may have been in, in jail for a speech too, but I'm not sure. So why is Tommy Robinson being arrested for free speech, but Islamic terrorism is allowed to prosper? And somebody brought, did you see that picture of an ISIS flag at Big Ben? True story, you can go find this. I think, um, I forget who posted it. One of you guys did, one of you meme guys did. But there was a person at Big Ben with uh, the ISIS flag. 
and no big deal. If you brought a Nazi flag to the UK, you would be arrested for hate speech. You would be arrested, you would go to jail, your visa would be revoked, you would be evicted from the country. But you can walk around with an ISIS flag anywhere you want in Europe, and that's free speech. And for what it's worth, what is the Mike Cernovich perspective? Hey, I, I believe in free speech for everybody. I believe you should have a right to carry around your Nazi ISIS flag. If that's what you want to do, you might get your ass kicked. If you get your ass kicked, I'm not really going to feel too bad for you. But I believe in free speech for everybody. So, but you got to ask yourself, why would you arrest somebody for a Nazi flag, a swastika, but not arrest somebody for an ISIS flag? You either arrest both of them or you don't arrest either. I don't think you should arrest either. My personal view is, I don't think you should arrest either of them. But why would you only arrest the person with the Nazi flag? You wouldn't arrest the ISIS flag, and that is because the mayor of London is pro-ISIS. He's pro-terrorism. He is connected to the Muslim Brotherhood. Keith Ellison of the DNC is also connected to the Muslim Brotherhood, connected to terrorism. The, the Awan Brothers story, I don't know how to pronounce it, A-W-A-N. The Awan Brothers story is, should be the biggest news story in America. America was hacked by the Muslim Brotherhood and ISIS, by IT, IT people, hacked America. The Awan Brothers should be the biggest story in the world right now. Barely getting any media coverage. Trump's media team, I did a video on their media team, they're, they're slipping. They're, they are slipping. His media team is not doing a good job. This is a big story. It should be pushed hard everywhere, and it really isn't being pushed. So why is that? What is wrong with Trump's media team? Why aren't they actually pushing out these kind of stories, this kind of information? Right? That's the whole point. If not, this was clickbait. Well, you're blocked because I don't need you here. I block over 100 people of Periscope. Why? Because I don't need dumb people. Dumb people don't buy books. Dumb people don't support honest journalism. So if you're a stupid person, you're not smart enough to be here, I just want you to know that you're not welcome because you're a loser at life and you would never do anything other than consume resources like a parasite. Which reminds me of an, you know, the, another group of people. Another group of people in Europe. So that's the whole point. You're stupid. Don't belong here. But anyway, the um, the mayor, the Muslim mayor of London, had said that um, terrorism is like a way of life, is part and parcel to living in a big city, and you better learn to accept it. All right. So look 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 here. You better learn to accept terrorism. What's up, Mike the Mouth? You better. We got a pro poker play in the house. You better learn. To accept terrorism or you're an Islamophobic bigot. That is where we're at right now. That's the world we live in. Accept it. And people are, are accepting it. Like cowards, really. People eventually have to get over the fear of being called a, a racist. You know, you got to start boycotting these companies. We need to do what the left does, which is... We need to start organizing boycotts. We need to do marches. We don't do political activism the way the left does. And we're getting our asses kicked, and that's our problem. It's our fault. We don't fight hard like they do. We're too busy trying to get Tommy Lauren fired. I mean, think about that for a minute, right? Right now, conservatives are too busy trying to get Tommy Lauren f fired because she made some dumb comment on The View when there's terrorism in America, right? We don't take care of ourselves. We don't, we don't take care of our own. We don't watch each, each other's backs. We, we turn on each other because we want to be accepted by the liberal media or we want to be seen as kind of ideologically pure. And it doesn't make any sense. It's the reality. So we need to do our own. There's Syra. She's sleeping. Here, I'll show you. She goes, hey. Hold on, Syra. There she is. Passed out. Syra is passed out, man. She's living the dream right there. Yeah. That's why, that's why we got to do what we got to do, man. We're involved in a society. How do we overcome ideological impurity when it's the only thing that keeps us decent? You know, what, you know what keeps you decent, my friend? Not your dumb ideology. You know what keeps you de decent? Are you spending time with your children? 
Are you going to the gym and taking care of your body? Do you call your mom or your dad once a week? Right? Are you spreading a message of love to people? Your dumb ideas on what is true or what is false, ideological purity, how are you actually living your life though? That's the people though, you know, people don't ever want to talk about. How are you actually living your life? So ideological purity, I don't want to hear anything about. How are you living? That is what makes you a good person. Your ideas don't make you a good person or a bad person. Your actions make you a good person or a bad person. Your ideas don't make you good or bad. Enough. Shut the fuck up. I'm out. No, you're not because you're blocked. Blocked for being a hater. Cry, baby. Didn't want to hear the truth. Didn't want to be red-pilled. He did not want to be red-pilled. Your ideas don't make you anything. They don't make you good. They don't make you bad. It's how you live your life that makes you a good person or a bad person. We'll be talking more later. I just wanted to let you know that the London mayor, the London mayor is pro-terrorism. And you just, you better accept it and deal with it or you are a bigot. That's the reality. It's the world we live in. Thanks for tuning in. Mike Cernrich, DangerPlay.com, Gorilla Mindset. We cannot let this happen to America. We cannot let this happen in America.